Hello friends, welcome back. If you want to know what is the best format to write an epic and how to capture it in Jira tool with example, then you are watching the right video. Let's first understand the software requirement breakdown structure in Agile. As you can see, initiative is the end goal or the objective of the organization. Then initiative are broken down to epics which are the large bodies of work with common objective and then epics are further broken down into small and detailed requirements called user stories now let's take an example here as you can see developing and launching school management software to increase the total revenue of the organization is the initiative then initiatives are broken down into epics as you know school management software will have different modules like login module attendance module finance module and many more each of these modules can be called as epic as they are large bodies of work which can be further broken down now each epic are further broken down into many minute and detailed requirements called as user stories. As you can see, login model is broken down into many user stories like create student login page is a user story, student, students should be able to reset his password is a user story, creating parents login page is a user story, parents should be able to reset his password is a user story, creating faculty login page is a user story, and faculty should be able to reset password is another user story. In similar way, attendance module and finance module is also broken down into many related user stories. If you want to know how to capture a user story in Jira in the best format, please watch the related video in my channel. I have also given the link in the description. In this video, we will only concentrate on Epic by taking login model as an example. Now let's go to Jira tool. Jira is the most widely used project management tool in the market. This is the Jira board for school management software project. Now let's create an epic. Click on create. In the project, school management software is pre-populated. In sheet type, we need to select epic. And in summary, we can write development of login model for school management software. Now comes the main content of the epic. Here the best format to write epic is to fill all these details. Like epic description, desired outcome or benefit, business value, in scope, precondition or prerequisite, constraints if any, assumptions, references, and UX and UI screenshot. Now let's start one by one. Epic description. So Epic description could be to create a login model for school management software. Then what is the desired outcome or benefit from this Epic? All the users will be able to successfully access the school management software with secured login. Next come business value. So what is the business value here? One is, it increases the total revenue of the organization. 
Since developing the school management software is the initiative of the organization to increase revenue, so login model is a part of school management software, so it also increases the total revenue of the organization. Another thing is, it secures the information of school management software. So these two business value can be given. Then in scope. So this is actually what we are developing in this epic. That would be creating login page for students, parents and faculty. Friends, to reduce the length of video, I am going to copy and paste the in scope details. As you can see, create a login page for students, parents and faculty is one scope. Students should be able to log into his dashboard. Students should be able to reset password. Parents should be able to log into his dashboard. Parents should be able to reset the password. Faculty should be able to log into his or his dashboard. Faculty should be able to reset the password. So all these things are the scope. We can put it in bulletin points. Next comes the prerequisite or precondition. So what is the precondition here? Precondition would be users should have username and password to use the login model. So this would be the precondition. Now coming to constraints. What would be the constraints? In this case we have time constraints. So we can write the login module should be completed by three months. or two months. So this is the constant. Assumption, in this case we don't have any assumption, so we can actually put it as any. In reference, if we have any developed login model as a reference, we can put the link here. In this case we don't have any, so we'll put it as any. Coming to the UX and UI. So this is to show how the login page will look. So, I can copy and paste the screenshot. Now, create on create. Once you create, when you see the epic, you will find all the required information in epic. So having all this information will help to track the project for the management team and it also gives a validity for the user stories which are broken down from this epic. As you can see, you have epic description, desired outcome, business value, in scope, precondition, constraints, assumption, reference if any and also attach screenshot of UX and UI. Thank you friends. Please like and subscribe to my channel.